So we know that in order to manifest great things, happiness, joy, love in our lives, we need to feel happy, joyful, full of love. So how do we maintain that feeling when all this is happening in the world? Hello, I'm Edward. I'm working on myself to be a better person and to be happier and full of joy and to bring all those wonderful things to myself. Do you want to do the same? Well, join me here. I'm building a community of like-minded individuals who want to journey together towards self-improvement. Sadly, politics of late isn't about voting for the candidate who's policies you most agree with. It's about voting for the candidate that hates the same people that you hate. It's all about hating people, which is really not great for us. It's not great for our mental health. It's not great for our ability to manifest those wonderful things that we want in our lives. Because when we feel so much hate, we're vibrating at a low frequency, and we're going to draw low frequency things to us. We don't want that. Step one, identify. I do not say I am angry. I'm feeling anger. I'm experiencing anger. I'm an eternal soul. I'm pure love at my core. The reason I feel unhappy when I have this anger experience is because it is not who I truly am. It is so distant from my true vibration that it feels uncomfortable. Do not identify yourself as angry. Identify yourself as experiencing a feeling of anger as I'm traveling this path in the 3D reality, learning and growing. Second, we must embrace it. All feelings are welcome here. The reason we're here is to feel. We're here to learn and experience. So feelings that are uncomfortable, yeah, it's part of your lessons and uh, welcome them, embrace them. You're welcome here, feeling of anger. I want to experience you fully. That's why you're here. I want to experience you so that eventually I won't need to experience you anymore. I've got that feeling. I've got that experience of feeling anger. be grateful. Be grateful for your lessons. And after you finish these lessons, you won't have to take them anymore. So be grateful for this opportunity to pass the anger class. And then release the feelings. Now you may think, hmm, I'm not able to release this anger. This anger is intense and I can't let it go. Well, have you ever been very worried? Perhaps you've lost your keys or your phone and you're very stressed out looking for your keys or your phone, but then you find your keys or phone and instantly that feeling of stress is gone. Well, so you can release feelings. Whether you're willing to or not, well, that's a different story. But allow the possibility, allow yourself to feel the possibility that, yeah, I can release feelings. And just let that sit in your mind. Another thing that often helps me is to remember that we're all here playing a role. The people that are inducing this feeling of anger in you, they're here showing you something. They're here teaching you. These people are teachers for you. If, if you're experiencing them, if you're feeling something because of them, they're teaching you something. 
maybe they're difficult teachers. They're those hard teachers that teach you these hard lessons. Well, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. You are teaching me to take control of my own mind, to take control of my own feelings and vibration, and to be a stronger person. And once I pass this class, I won't need you anymore. I hope this was somewhat helpful for you, practical methods that I use for moving past negative feelings. And there will be more discussions in the future, so please come back next time. <laughs> and let's grow together.